Great to see you here. Now, I'm going to be as brief as I can. There are a few things I've got to get through because there's a lot to be said about what happened to our society in the last 50 years, but I'll go as quickly as I can. First of all, we started in 1962, and we have to start with a man over here on my left, George McGrain, who is still with us after 50 years. There's a few players here from that era as well, people like Dickie Clinton, Paddy Hughes, Desert Palmer, Peter Card. But then again, there's also another man here as well, he's hiding down there in the corner, by Frankie Monaghan. He's here for all the time. I said George and uh, Johnny O'Sullivan, Wally Gallon, Christy Kelly, a few people like that started off. I think in the back of the car was the first meeting, but certainly one of the first meetings in the back of the car. <laughs> but they put together a team uh, which I think George Whitten, Whitten uh, Danny for saying, struggled a little bit in the first few years, but they kept at it, fair play. George and the boys kept at it, and eventually uh, we started to win a few leagues, won the subsidiary cup and won the divisional league uh, in what, 1976, four? Something around there, you know. But not, uh, uh, and about that time in the early 70s, Frankie started the first schoolboy team at Swords that, that That's a long schoolboy section. It wasn't really even an official schoolboy section, a few teams, but at least it was a schoolboy team. No schoolgirls then, unfortunately, so it's a, they came in. Then we come to 1982, uh, a very significant development, when uh, the Swords Alley joined with a local schoolboy team by the name of St. Cronus Boys. And there's actually a there's uh, Joe Daly was there, Frank Kilbride, Des Knapp, they're all there. They actually came into Sword Sandy back in 1982. And that was when the first schoolboy section started in Ayrs. Uh, around about the late 80s, under the chairman, Joe Daly was the first chairman of the Imaginator Club. And uh, we started, they started the development towards the middle 80s, started building the clubhouse. And uh, that continued on for a while. And in the in schoolboy section, there was some success. We had some very, very good players we had. Very good managers, like Des, Vincent, Vincent uh, Millington, Aidan Byrne, and especially a man who is unfortunately no longer with us, Joe McGovern, who ran a very, very successful team. And uh, Joe, when Joe did step down, another man took over, over a, in a very difficult period of club, and that was Jen Thomas. Unfortunately, Jen is no longer with us either, and uh, may the both rest in peace. Seniors had some, uh, quite a bit of success over Huey Ball, he got up the leagues, and uh, but towards the end of the end of that decade, uh, the, develop, the pressure was really on the development, uh, building the clubhouse and getting funds in for more development. So that brought us on to the mid the mid nineties to the current stage, which I call the third phase of sorts. Of. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of changes took place. We got the FOSS in, which has been tremendous in helping us. The FOSS community, sorry, uh, community employment scheme. And uh, Evan, Evan uh, Hattering, who runs, still runs it, is still is here with us as well. So the concentration was on the, the development, but also a, a movement took place in, uh, almost, uh, I won't say, but a, a very change, what did the teacher call it? A game changer, I think, yeah, it was a game changer. When we got, uh, when Paul Arcy and Eddie, Carolyn, and a whole new lot of people came into the junior section and uh, started to develop it. People like uh, Stephen, uh, Sean, and uh, Stephen, uh, Alan, uh, what's the Alan here? Joe Mack is here, Paul Spearing is there. But a lot of people come in, and there was a ma major development in the, in the junior section. And the junior section has actually gone from uh, strength to strength from that day. We've, uh, over the past 15 years, basically, uh, that schoolboy section has developed a ball recognition. We've now 34 teams from 8s up to 19s. I'm not sure what the Darren likes to be called the school by manager, but the late days are doing extremely well, and it, it's good to see everybody here from there. It, most of our teams play in the, in the A division of the, the NDS and the Premier, and as I say, Tony Gaines is the, the second of our, and uh, we thank Tony for his cooperation over the years. And our own 18s then, 18A is in, in the DDSL, and they're, they're winning, uh, and we're winning the 17 Premiership as well. It, we're particularly strong at the, the 14 level with five teams. Imagine five teams in, in, in the one age group. It's an unbelievable. It's kind of in the region, five teams the whole club. And then uh, going on from that, uh, last season, four of our teams got to the, the quarterfinals of the, of, the, of the various cups. And our coaching, and let's stress though, 
when I talk about success and winning, really what we want is for everybody from eight up to enjoy the football at Sword Center. And we, we try to, to coach from a, from a fun perspective. And, you know, I'll go back to the seniors in a minute, but it's still a heart to see so many lads who have come through the school by now playing with our first team. And we're also getting players on to representative squads. And it was four on, on the lens of senior the, the, the last week or two. So, it, the, from that basis, the club is going on. It, just a few words about the same section. We went through a roller coaster period. We dropped down from the intermediate to the premier. But we're, we're fighting back. And, and when I say fighting back, I mean fighting back. Today, the first team have won the, their 11th match in a row, which I think is tremendous. And Larry Clare and his, and his team of his coaches deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. And I leave the last game, the, the bear to wait after the after the meeting to speak, and then Brian would speak as well. So basically, I just want to thank everybody for coming. I want to thank our sponsors. Uh, I want to thank the managers of the school by level, the senior level, the parents for all the all they put up with year in year out. And uh, as I mentioned, Foss already. But I'd like the mayor to take back a special word of thanks to the staff of Fingal Council, mm -hmm. County Council, who have been tremendous in helping us, and I'm sure we'll continue to help us. So that's it. I'm going to sit down and let you enjoy the rest of the meeting.